Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknockwallin slash Shigurag, and welcome back to episode 20 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. So last time, we were obliterating these aliens here. We plan on moving into the Xenomass uh, nest, and we'll take them out and get us a nice chunk of science. We're one turn away from neural uploading, and we took Serac. Now the thing is, will it be retaken by the enemy? Hopefully not. So to prevent that, I'm going to move this Apostle onto this Magrail, and that will prevent this battle suit right here from being able to move directly into Sarek. The other thing that could take it back is the Lancer here, so to kill him, we'll just move this Apostle in. And then to keep this here Apostle alive, we will back him out just a little bit. And hopefully, Sarek will stay ours for this turn. Let's move our artillery pieces in. And try to get these workers into position. Hmm. This Magrail seems fine enough. Just make sure all these guys are working, what they gotta work. And this one will begin next turn. Okay, so we did finish our Hollow Suite here in Gangren. And we can either begin the Feed Site Hub or a Soma Distillery. So, health is totally matched right now, so I think a Feed Site Hub is probably the best option. And our worker here just finished, so this one can actually begin building us a generator on that there grassland. And these guys can clear the miasma here and prepare for building their own generators. When this guy's fully healed, we'll do the same thing there. Trade convoy, keep on trading to Tiangong for wonderful, wonderful juicy yields, and these apostles will heal up. Trade Convoy out of Tiangong. Alright, so we're, again, we're just trying to maximize our production here, so Serac looks like the best trade route. It's also going to give us a bunch of food, and just like that, we have 80 bolts out of Tiangong. And in one turn, we may need to swap over to building our gate. So as it is, we have 708 energy right now, so what I want to do is buy tiles that, whatever tiles um, that Tiangong wants the culture too, because I'd really like to get the Fraxite mines. Um, and energy isn't totally useful for very much else. Again, just a bunch of random ocean tiles that the city wants, but I will give it to it because I need to appease this angry god. And look at that. It's like, yeah, you know, we'll pick up this random coral instead of juicy Fraxite. Uh, no clue why. I don't work here. I don't know what's going on in the automatic decision-making brain of this machine. I just know that I'm too old for this shit. Anyways, uh, let's get this trader out to Tiangong rolling. Because again, we're all about just giving Tiangong bolts. And nothing else really matters. At all. And that tank is causing us some issues. Thankfully, it will not kill our guy here. And all attempts to attack us will be in vain. Now, what we're going to try to do is try to definitely defeat this military up north here. We can invade Mava for now, because it doesn't look like they're going to really mount any scary stuff. Um, we definitely want to move our heralds up into Sarek, as soon as we're certain that um, it is, you know, completely defended. If you replicate the neurological activity of an individual on a computer, for all intents and purposes, the computer is that individual. Deep the stuff. The spirit has always been willing. The flesh has always been weak. And like that, we got a bunch of upgrades. Prime CNDR is being the most obvious. I'm gonna go with uh, the plus twenty percent from the unit. Doesn't really matter. They really won't show up on the front line. Um, and then here we have a choice between plus one range when it hasn't moved on the highest level supremacy ranger, or plus eight percent. Per adjacent friendly. I'm gonna go with the plus eight percent per adjacent friendly. And the redeemer upgrades well. We don't have any of these. But if we did, they would be good. And the angel has been unlocked. Wonderful, wonderful. Just like that, we can build a gate. And we will do so. Emancipation gate twenty-one turns away. So let's build this right here. Why not? Hmm. Right there. Yes. 
Okay, that's going to take 21 turns. Um, what we could do is put us into full production mode. But um, what we might want to do is send workers back or make them and start building factories in some of these places. Because it doesn't seem like we're going to need uh, anything else but just production, production, production in Tiangong. And then we just got neural uploading, so now what is there room to tech for? So the thing is about this is that we really have all of the supremacy stuff at this point. Um, in continuing to go down supremacy isn't going to necessarily be the best option. What we have to do is have to basically weigh what we think is like some really good stuff that it'd be nice if we had um, and we don't have because we're, we've been supremacy the whole game. So perhaps this tissue engineering, for example, that's just going to... I know, you just um, give you incredible amounts of healing on your units for relatively easy tech to get. Um, another such option might be, for example, the um, mm, something that helps give us some of these uh, purity production buildings that we could buy in the capital once we have enough energy for it. So concepts like that include uh, the borehole over here. We have to get to eight, and that's not something we can feasibly do. But maybe biospheres is useful, you know? Um, we have to look around, really. Right now, I'm thinking that deep memory might be nice, um, and that would give us a lot of a lot of affinity points, but again, what is the most useful thing right now? Honestly, vertical farming might be very, very good at home and pretty much everywhere. We have a bunch of farms around. Um, not nearly as many as we have in bio wells. So, you know, something that incre uh, increases our bio well yields, like alien genetics, might be insane. So let's go ahead and grab that. Five turns away, and we'll get a lot more culture out of this. So just like that, our veterancy increases, and we have to protect the city, so we have to surrender pretty much on all sides with units. So let us do that. And we'll get him... Let's move these back and shift them. Okay, looks good. And we'll get these heralds to Sarek. The educator will move upwards. Or we could move it in position to hit Mava. Um, but again, these things haven't upgraded yet. And won't until... When do the educators upgrade? Nope, what am I doing? Missile rover. Why is the angel superimposed on everything? Oh well, the ambassador at 14. Um, so are there any small supremacy buffs we could get pretty quickly? No, we've pretty much exhausted them. Um, it would require at least 10 turns to get any others. Plus one energy from mines might actually be really good. Um, so let's actually grab that, because energy might be more important than culture at this point in the game. So I will do that, and that'll help upgrade the uh, artillery units we have, and this worker can actually be of use to us. So we'll keep him alive and try to improve that Fraxite mine. So like that, let's shift some of these, some of these workers. Always shift, shift your workers. Important, important lesson. And we can take this now. Wonderful. Wunderbar! So one of the things we want to do is we genuinely need to... Oopsie. How did I... Like that. We genuinely need to get some workers into Tiangong to, you know, start putting in some serious high production stuff um factories namely and the health issues we have with Sarek and a bunch of other places aren't really helping and they'll never really go away um we're gonna view this city here we're not getting any health out of this then again uh 
I don't know. It, it just, this thing just needs to build a bunch of health buildings. If you view the city, you see that it has no health buildings, and, you know, with 13 people like that, 11 people like that, it just isn't wise. Um, we could try annexing it, but that would just decrease our health even more. So I'm just going to pray that the automated systems here are intelligent enough to do something about it. That said, Kazemtan literally has no improvements. This is a, a common case of the AI being like, yeah, we don't care. We are cheap as hell. We have huge buffs. We don't even need to build improvements. And it's kind of infuriating. That said, um, something you have to deal with. So, you know, we put up with it. What kind of wonders does Freeland have? Looks like a gene vault. Um, anything else? Probably not. I mean, we really don't need to scale up our invading force right now. We kind of just need to scale up, uh, what we can do in the capital to finish this guy faster. So, that said, that means our top priority needs to be, um, build workers. Ooh, the angel. Hmm. I'm just going to build a bunch of workers right now. Because I would like to build a bunch of factories back home. And we need to scale out health. We could do that by burning these cities down. I mean, Sarek actually has some decent health. I guess Amtan is actually causing more trouble troubles than you'd think. Um, I can't really risk. Uh, what do you call it? Annexing them right now. So, as it stands, I'm just going to have a nice little picnic out here, blowing baddies up. Again, uh, I don't understand. They put these cities all so close together. I'm just, like, running right into the Empire, but it's kind of annoying having to deal with it. Okay. Let's see if our heralds here can do a little bit of work. Blast him. And this apostle can push up, give a little bit of close support. These ones can heal, this guy can heal. Where do we get the next production? Alright. Um, let's build a thorium reactor. Energy's a bit of an issue, and will be. Um, meanwhile, let's go ahead and chop this forest down. And this guy can build some mag rail. More mag rails. More mag rails. Moving those artillery pieces up. And more production to Tiangong equals better. How go... These guys have trade routes available to them? They do. Alright, so I will build some trade routes for them. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go put one trade convoy here. And one here. And we will be able to prioritize them. Because I want to give even like six, seven, eight more production to Tiangong is important and good. Hmm. I'm trying to think what would happen if we didn't have all of these uh, bio wells being worked, but instead had like uh, factories around. It would decrease our health considerably, but it might be something we have to do. Um, yeah. That's what happens when you take two cities. That's why taking cities is always like a risky business kind of in the late game. Alright, so let's go ahead and start working on these projects here. This guy wanted to get that Fraxite mine out. Hopefully this guy doesn't take too, too much damage this turn. Because I really have no interest of keeping... keep. I don't really want to invade any more cities. At this point, I'd like to just... Um... You know, get some sort of deal with the, the uh, Polystralians. Like, if I could give them a city back and they'd give me a bunch of stuff. That'd be great. Because I don't really want to keep Sarek and all of the unhealth-related Kessin Patan or something like that. Oops, Namaste. what's going on? 
Stop your covert ops at once. How, how goes the spying in? It's fine. Alright. Well. Let's make him a veteran and back him off. Then, we'll just heal him up here. This educator will get absolutely wrecked if I move him into city range fire. I'm just gonna hold the line until these guys are healed. Or if we can get a settlement. I'd like to get a settlement out of the Polystralians now. Good to see you again. No, see, you have to give me something, friend. Can you give me like 30 of these? He just wants that. Um, how about I give you a city back, sir? Give you Sarek back. How, how's that? And then you give me... 30 energy and... 6 for... 5 for Axite. I can live Gracious with accepts. That. Wonderful. Okay. So like that, we, we did a smart... Now this guy is not going to be able to get back home. But he's kind of useless at this point, so we'll just delete him. I made a massive decision there that was basically I want more health and the energy per turn and no war. Um, basically so we can wrap up this victory without wasting so much time in the military screens. So that means we want to get these military units basically home. Um, as far as Kensa Baton, now we can pretty much annex it, I'd like to. Uh, that's going to decrease our health a little bit. That said, it'll go away eventually, and then we'll be able to build, uh, what do you call it? Stuffs. Now, I'd like to get him back, because I can't, you know, I'll just have him just chill there. I'm sure eventually the borders will grow here, and then we'll get teleported out. Um, which is fine by me. I think that was a wise decision. I don't really have the time to waste on, um... Oh wow, even more for Excite. Um, on military invasions when the health is just going to get drawn out like that. So, keep on building. Is Magrel done? It is done. Well, I'll just tell him to do nothing for a sec. These guys can kind of fortify. I want to bring the army pretty much back um, home. Fortify just in case we get invaded by someone some of the ending turns of our glorious empire. This worker, what shall we do with him? That is right, we'd like to build some uh, some factories, some manufactories. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, he's critical. Uh, we didn't do that this turn, so we'll say no offense, but you know, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Nope. None for you. We can just keep some eyes on in Sarek and in Mava. Did that kill our planes? Are you serious? When you give someone a city, it kills all the planes? Well, that's sort of infuriating, but I learned something. Alright, so I think the, probably the smartest thing to get right now would be clearly the... Plus 50 percent to wonders, because we're doing that right now. So, yeah, that's just smart. Another worker. Let's keep on building these manufactories that we need. That's seriously annoying, though. Really frustrating. Right, um, yeah, let's just move this to Kesson Baton. Wait, why does it say Kuyan has two trade routes open? Tengong is one. Does Kuyan not have another trade route? It doesn't. Huh. Odd. Well, we have not many other uses. Sue. One such thing that could be actually useful, and I'm not sure why I haven't thought about this yet, is if we actually went and got geoscaping, um, we could have put orbital fabricators over our capital, and that would have put uh, given us a lot of extra bolts. There's a bunch of other faster ways to get bolts, though. Um, 
So for right now, I'm thinking we just want to do an, an industry focus. We don't have very much use for anything else. Okay, uh, out in Huanlei. Um, we could build a Swan Destroyer that would give us two health. I am going to opt for that, because Huanlei is about to grow. It'll soon be three health. Gongren. Um, hmm. Again, I'm just going to do an industrial approach here. Not too much else to do in these cities until the game ends. And we're just going to reinforce all these guys. Yeah, it looks good. I just want to get some sight on this stuff, but like, it's a shame we couldn't put a city over here. Hmm. Well, no use for it now. Uh, actually, no, we can still transfer one to Kassapatan. And this Magra is done. Probably send this worker home, in fact. Don't really need them anymore. We'll, we'll get them working on manufactories near the capital. Educator can kind of just move. 17 turns until the gate is done. Let's get this guy out here. What's ours is yours. Uh, fav no. Haha, <laughs> funny. You're a goose. As Adam Smith said, trade is Sorry, the blood of we you. actually have no more interest in that because I'd like my petroleum back so I can build more satellites if I need the satellites. Which I'd like to have some satellites. Satellites are nice. Especially if we get some bolts and some of these satellites. Alright, so... I would like to build an angel. Um, we will build some angels. So organ printer's done, um, so we'll just build a thorium reactor. Then reconsider what we want there shortly. Let's go ahead and just buy this tile. And get him to continue cutting down that forest. Also can heal. Worker needs to go do more cool stuff. And just like that, it looks like the end of the episode. Hmm. You really don't need any of these farms. However, I will, before the episode ends, start building this other mini factory. And thank you guys for watching, though. I'll see you guys later, and hopefully we'll get a little bit closer to wrapping up.